So if you only had 24 hours in Sofia, where are the places to go? Well, I decided to ask some of the locals living here what they thought. And maybe some of them even give us a couple of ideas to go and get your coffee. I'll also put the websites or GPS coordinates to these places in the description below. Okay, so if you had only one day here in Sofia, what are the must-see places? Maybe the parks because they're so big and there is a lot of environment there. You can see a lot of people running, going out with their dogs. And it's nice and chill. And because most people mostly go to, I don't know, Alexander Nevsky malls and they don't usually go to the parks. I think parks like uh, the Sound Park or here in NDK. It's nice. That's great advice. I like that one. Costa? Costa? You like yeah. Costa? Yeah, I like Costa. And it's not that expensive, like Starbucks. Uh, I'd say, firstly, um, Kupituto. It's a place near Sofia. You can have a really nice view of the whole city. It's really beautiful. Um, you can see the art museum here. Um, the nightlife is something else entirely. It's like, if you've ever been to sunny beach in the summer, <laughs> it's basically here in the winter okay. time. Those I would say would be my top three places here. Top three places. Yeah. From here to visit the country, I will say that um, they have to visit sightseeing that we have, like Alexander Nevsky or uh, the National Theater. But if you're like a person that likes more nature, Vitsha is your place. Okay. <laughs> That's the mountain, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the mountain Vitsha. And if you're a person like me, party animal. You have to see the clubs here. So, what uh, is the, do you drink coffee? Oh, a lot of coffee. Okay then, so the best coffee bar here in Sofia? Oh, there are a lot. There are a lot, I would say, uh, especially in Svenskigrad, because I live there and I spend most of my time there. I would say 35 in English, but in Bulgarian, 3 sipet. <laughs> <laughs> 3 sipet? Yes. Yeah. Well, you have to see Alexander Nevsky. You have to see the national... History Museum. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We have big parks here, like uh, Borisova Gradina. Okay. We have Zaymov. Um, we also have like the National Opera. It's like very beautiful to see. The National Power of Culture, like it's there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that's what else? Pretty, yeah, that's pretty much. much. Yeah. Well, for one day, you. For one day, I think. It's that's hard. It. It's, it's very hard. hard. Yes. 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 See of of Sofia. Yeah. Is there any is there any special places that are not so famous that you would uh, know about? Like oh, I'm not sure. interesting places. Well, um, like there's one place. It's um, like Mosaico, okay. and it's uh, a museum for kids, for adults, and. It gathers, gathers all the science and uh, the native of the future. Yes, that, yeah. that's, that, that's great. That's a great one. That's a great one. Well, I, I drink pretty much any type of coffee. I'm not that uh, picky about coffee, but I like Costa coffee. Yeah, Costa, 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 Costa like coffee. coffee. Yeah. Okay. It's right over there. Yeah. It's the best one. Yeah. <laughs> it's my favorite as well, actually. Oh, nice. <laughs> Coming from England, Costa's also from England originally. Yeah. Italian guys made it in England. A tourist? A tourist, yeah. A tourist. T tourist. You. Tourist, yeah. And you only have one day in, in Sofia. Samo Samoedin Den of Sofia. Okay, okay. Yeah. The uh, Kakvoe Nai Vajnato, the Gledash. Of Sofia? Of Sofia. If you have only one day. Church, church. Yes, church. Alexander Here. Nevsky? Ch yeah, yeah, yeah. Alexander Lev Nevsky? Yeah. Church. Yeah. So beautiful, bro. Yeah. This is very special uh, church in uh, Sofia. This is... Uh, uh, if you had like a coffee, who's the best place? Coffee. Relax. 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 In Nadezhda. Nadezhda. Yeah, uh, maybe six, seven kilometers. You go with the metro? Yeah, relax. Relax. Yeah, with metro. Hello, friends. Subscribe for channel. Got it? Gratuel. 
Hi. So if I had 24 hours to spend in Sofia, what would I do? That's easy. The first thing I would do is I would take a stroll down Vitosha Boulevard and check out the bars and cafes and restaurants, shops, uh, even art galleries. Um, you're going to find some really unique, one-of-a-kind pieces here, things that you wouldn't find possibly in the mall. Uh, you're also going to get a sense of the people and the vibe and what Sofia is all about. You can visit some of the hidden alleys in the city, right? And discover uh, stores like Natomno. It's basically at dark, like at the translation, dark. right? And it has interesting items that usually you can't uh, buy in other countries. It's a very alternative goth kind of store. Goth, the, yeah, kind of gothy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and usually the metal scene in the Sofia scene. like congregates there. Right. Okay. So is that like kind of a is it a, is it a bar as well or is it no a, it's a more of a just a shop ah, where they okay. sell tickets like a, ah okay so yeah. a merchandise and Merchan things like that yeah, for bands. Exactly. yeah and there okay. are a lot of like metal things in there yeah everything metal you everything can find metal there. so if you're into metal you need to get down and what's the name of that place again not dumb no. there's also not dumb, no. an, another place called um, metal shop just metal shop straight to the point yep. that uh, specializes exactly in metal things yep. well not dumb, no is more of a god. Okay. Or just overall alternative scene. And another thing you can visit is just the center, just walk around. It's right. a very beautiful... This, this area, Vitoshka. Yeah, the... not only Vitoshka, I mean like the whole center. Yep. Because uh, there's a lot of really cool hidden spots that you will not see if you just follow a travel guide. Yep. Uh, so your advice kind of be is to take them small streets, yeah? Yeah, yes. definitely. Yeah. Although you should be careful because if you stray out of the center, there's a lot of um, very political, very aggressive groups that yes. could end up uh, doing a number on you. Okay, so stick to, stick to the center, but go for the yeah. smaller streets. Also be careful, because uh, popular is Costa, which is not that good in my opinion. I've had okay. friends who work there, uh, but it is the most popular. So in your opinion, where's the best place to get a coffee? In my opinion, I don't drink coffee. Okay, so, so then, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, Saying the popular yeah. opinion. You should yeah. visit uh, Vitosha Mountain because it's really great. And also, if you're more into like history things, I, I would suggest you to go to all of our different kind of museums. We have, yeah, we have so many museums. We also have really beautiful churches. But Vitosha Mountain is a piece I go. You have to go. Hello, my name is Mila. I'm Bulgarian language teacher, and I live in Sofia. Um, if you have 24 hours what you have to see in Sofia. Um, let's start with this place here. This is the, um, the little part of uh, Yuzhen Park, South Park, that is behind NDK. And it's a very, very nice place to have a relaxed afternoon. People walk their dogs here, so if you visit Sofia with your dogs, it, it will be very, very good for them to just run free around. Um, other places that are nearby, of course, Sendika, but most of the time you can see it only from outside. This is the National Palace of Culture. If you have the chance to go in, it, it will be interesting to see an old style building. And uh, if you can take the metro from metro station Sendika to Serdika, you can see that area which is uh, very popular with the Zhenski Pazar, which is the women's market. And uh, around there is the so-called Arabic neighborhood with little shops where you can buy some um, interesting Arabic products. And uh, it's interesting that uh, there are many different re religion temples there. You can see the, uh, the Sofia Mosque, also uh, Catholic Church, uh, Old Christian Church, and um, you can go in and see how all these religions co-live in the area. Uh, in the same area, around Zhenski Pazar, we have a very favorite bar and coffee shop. It's called Bariwa Bar. And you, it, during daytime, you can just have a coffee there. Normal, ordinary coffee, nothing special. But when you sit there, you can see the open market, the trams there pass away, and also the beginning of the walking area of Pirutska Street. So it's uh, just nice place to 
sink in the atmosphere of this part of Sofia. As Miller said, she's a language teacher and she comes highly recommended if you want to learn Bulgarian, even just a little bit while you get by for your visit. She has a YouTube channel, so I'll link that YouTube channel in the description below. Don't forget to go check out the YouTube channel and her website is there also if you want private lessons. Where would you go? First I'm going to Puyana Church, which is under uh, UNESCO supervision. Second I'm going downstairs here to visit the ocean uh, Sergica. Third I'm going to most significant place uh, for Bulgarian in that part of the town. This is Ulmans Market. Coffee uh, store is uh, Starbucks. They have variety of the coffee and my favorite matcha latte. Uh, also, they have amazing cookies, which you cannot find in other places outside of the United States. So if you only had one day in Sofia, what are the must-see things? You should for sure see Alexander Nevsky, the church, yes. as well as the National Gallery. There are some yeah. really good That's pieces the main thing. there. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any uh, unusual places that, like, that not everybody knows about usually? Unusual place. I think a Traveler's Club is not that famous, yeah. actually. Which, oh, sorry, is that? The Traveler's Club Traveler's that I told you about, yes. yeah. And there are a lot of small cafes. Small cafes, yeah. yeah. That are amazing and a lot of people don't know about them. Uh, whereabouts are they? Which area are they? Uh, hmm. Close to the center, I think. Close to the center. Yeah, well. most of them are around the center. Yeah, yeah. if you come here, you should uh, walk around the small streets because there are a lot of... Actually, there are a lot of small galleries around the city, and if you walk on the small street, not, not on Vitushka, but just around the streets, you'll see amazing things, and okay. you should go there. So you definitely yeah. recommend taking the small streets? Yes, yeah. it is better than taking the main streets. <laughs> like, if yeah, you go yeah. in the smallest streets, it's the better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. really beautiful, actually. Yes, yeah. one favorite park is not in the center, it's in Nistuk. Okay. And uh, it's uh, between the stations uh, Julio Curie okay. and... Uh, Gemi Dimitrov right. and it has like a small um, river and like a bridge it's not really a river but it looks like it and there is a bridge and there is the forest and it's amazing it's like in the middle of the city but actually it's outside of the city uh -huh, it feels and it's, like you're yes in the and it's an amazing place nice well the south park is actually really nice yeah. it's like really big and you can go for a walk especially around the summer when it's like hot and you need a place to chill. Yeah. 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 And there are also a lot of cafes around it, so you can see yeah. have a coffee. Coffee as well. For lunch. Yeah. Uh, coffee. The best coffee bar. I love coffee, like I can drink a lot of it, so I know a lot of great coffee places. Yep. Um Coffee Syndicate. It's one amazing cafe. Yeah. It is located uh, near the National Gallery, actually. Lovely. And it's a small place and if you go on the second floor you can see the whole center and it's amazing so you should definitely go there. And that is Coffee Syndicate? Uh, coffee Syndicate, yes. Well, I would say uh, our trees. Oh yeah, yeah that's our favorite it's, place. <laughs> yeah, it's a cafe which is... Um, it's next to the uh, Travelers Club that I told you yeah. about. <laughs> it's uh, next to uh, Sergica Street, Yeah. so it's close to the center. Yeah. 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 The coffee is really good and the dessert they are just like amazing. <laughs> so it's a and it's a yeah. jazz atmosphere, so uh -huh. it's classy. You have the jazz music yeah. going on, you have the artistic places, you have a lot of books on different so it's amazing. You yeah. should go there. Really yeah. tranquil. I mean yeah. you would chilled, like, really yeah, you proper have, coffee place. Yeah. Yes. yes. You can have a conversation without like being interrupted or wondering if you like can hear the person that is next to you. Yes. Well, I'm sure that you can see all of the center here is amazing because here's the National Palace of Culture, which is my favorite place here in Sofia. So, but if you're young and you want to have fun, your place is Studensky Grad for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to find a lot of things. Uh, here on the street especially, yeah? Oh yeah, for sure. So if you're young and you want to have fun, that's your place. Yes. Yeah. Is there any unusual places that like you wouldn't usually know about just by typing? It's a little bit down there when you see 8 and 8. 8 and 8? Yeah. It's this one, 8 and 8. Yeah, bar, it's really it? good. It's really nice coffee, yeah. There, yeah? But I know that there are a lot of like for professional baristas that walk here in Sofia. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, but I like really That's that the one. one. That like. okay. Yeah. And it's reasonably priced, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's good. good. Um, uh, of course, not the city, in the center of the city, because there are so many people there, not uh, so, so much. goes here. Yeah, there, there's not so much you can see, but uh, in Sofia, I don't know, maybe uh, the parks are so beautiful. Um, the parks. Uh, what else? Yeah, yeah, the, the parks. parks. Yes. Parks. Yeah. Um, what else? I, I don't know. The church. The church. church? Uh, Alexander. Yeah. Uh, There's lots no. of churches, no? No, not yeah. this one. Uh, Alexander Nevsky. Nevsky. Yeah. Nevsky. Alexander Nevsky. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Here there are a museum of the illusions, yes. which is very. Illusions. Yeah, yeah. It is okay. very. It's really interesting. It's very interesting. Good. It's uh, down there on Centrauni uh, Halli. Um, and, and you can see a lot of you things. You can see there. a lot of things. I think it's very interesting. Uh, your mind will go <laughs> yeah, <laughs> crazy. It's nice. Coffee? Coffee bar? Coffee Where bar. Where do you get your coffee uh, from? There is Costa Coffee, you know. Costa, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm British. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Costa, Costa Coffee. Yeah. And, uh, and I like the most Memento. Memento, Memento yes, yeah. I was there today. Brilliant. Yeah, nice. yeah, the coffee, the, really the professional nice. baristas though. Yes. Yes, Very yes, professional. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Some people were a little bit shy to come on the camera, but still had some good ideas. So I'll decide to share them with you now. A couple of people said it's well worth a visit to the Mil military museum. It's a four hour tour. Also, the crypt of St. Sophia Church. A few people said the graffiti walking tour is amazing. Just outside of the city centre are many mineral springs worth a visit to. A few people said Vitosha Mountain, but one said, especially in the evening, this amazing spot up there. If you like a little bit of brick and brack, someone mentioned to go to Malabeshti Bazaar. Also in Vitosha Mountain, Golden Bridges and the Golden Rocks. Thanks for all this people and show your appreciation by hitting that like button for me. If you want to see my first 24 hours in Sofia, then you need to check this video out. I'll see you over there.